Hi, it's Jacob here, and I want to show you how the live translation feature works in the phone app when you're making and receiving phone calls. Now, live translation works in messages, FaceTime, and the phone app, and it basically will convert whatever language you're speaking to someone in to a language that you can understand and they can understand. That means that you can have a multilingual conversation and you can both know exactly what's going on. Now, I've got a phone call here from myself, so it's going to be a bit tricky to demo, but I'll do my best for you. In this call, I'm going to be speaking English because sadly, that's all I can really speak properly apart from a few broken words of German. But we're going to translate that English into German. So to do this, we're going to press the more button in the bottom left hand corner and then choose live translation. At this point, you're going to tell the iPhone which languages you want to work with, the language that you're hearing from the recipient in the phone call and the language you want to be translated to. So for this to work, I'm going to translate to German and I'm going to translate from English. I'm kind of doing it backwards, perhaps, to how I'd normally use it if someone was calling me who's a natural German speaker. Now, at this point, when someone starts talking to you on the phone, in this case, it'll be myself talking to me. So as I talk on this phone call, you should then see, and then later hear, a translation in German. As I now talk on this phone call, you should hear me in English, but also see, and then later hear, a translation in German. Wenn ich jetzt in diesem Telefonat spreche, sollten Sie mich auf Englisch hören. Aber auch sehen und dann später eine Übersetzung auf Deutsch hören. Yeah, just like that. And this now means we can have multilingual conversations where both participants can speak in their native tongue and the phone app will do all the translation for you. Und das bedeutet jetzt, dass wir mehrsprachige Gespräche. And as long as your phone is working on iOS 26, you can use this translation feature even if the person you're talking to hasn't updated yet. It works on your phone, not theirs. And this is just one of many really clever and interesting new features in iOS 26. If you want to see what else is new, including loads of cool stuff with a phone app like the amazing Hold Assist, check out my YouTube channel and make sure you subscribe while you're there for hundreds more iPhone quick tips.